Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a product review of Chocorite. You can see that focus, there you go. The chocolate crispy caramel. I have had this before. It did come in, I think, the January 2019 Keto Crate, and I just tried it, and it is so good that I bought one so that I could review it for you guys. I was really interested to see what it would do to my blood sugar because it has some very questionable ingredients and it just tastes too good. Like it just tastes too good. It tastes like regular candy. It says the superior low net carb treat. It says no sugar added, mouth at all free. So at least they have that going for them. All right, the nutritional info. For two pieces, which is one pack, there are six grams of fat. There are 19 total carbs and 13 are fiber, which brings us down to six. And then there are four grams of erythritol, which brings us down to two net carbs. But let's get into these ingredients. The caramel layer, prebiotic soluble fiber, polydextrose, vegetable oil, palm kernel oil, palm oil, water, glycerin, milk protein concentrate, non-fat dry milk, salted butter, soy lecithin, salt, disodium phosphate, carrageenan, sucralose, vanillin. Vanillin? And then the milk chocolate coating. Isomalto oligosaccharides, erythritol, palm kernel oil, cocoa, non-fat milk, soy lecithin, vanilla flavor, sucralose. And then there are soy nuggets in here which give it that crisp Nestle chocolate bar sort of feel. And those are made from soy protein isolate rice flour, malt, and salt. I mean, geez, this is bad. No wonder it tastes so good, but I am going to try it. So I have already tested my fasting blood glucose for this morning. Uh, when I tested it, it was an 88, which was kind of high for me already, but that's okay. That's still pretty regular in the morning. So I'm going to try these out for you, and then I'm gonna test my blood sugar in one hour and two hours and see what it does. You get these two little nuggets. So I am going to try this. Mm. You guys, it tastes like straight up candy. Like, it doesn't taste sugar free. You can't taste the erythritol. There's chocolate and then there's like the crispy rice layers with some caramel in the middle. Taste wise, these things are delicious. I haven't had a Nestle chocolate bar in a very long time, but I would imagine that this is what a Nestle crunch with caramel would taste like. I mean, it, it just tastes like a regular piece of candy. Okay, so for these videos, I'm gonna be talking about three points at two different times. The first time, I'm gonna be basing it just off taste alone, and then the second time, I'm gonna be talking about whether or not my thoughts have changed after I see my blood glucose readings. So the first point I wanna talk about, number one, how did it taste? Amazing, like I am a fan of chocolate, crispy rice nuggets and caramel, like that tastes like straight candy and that's how I would use it as just like, hey, I want some candy. Which I don't necessarily wanna get in the habit of having candy as part of my everyday diet, but I mean, hey, that you could think that those are Atkins bars as well. I would probably kinda of use that in place of an Atkins bar. Number two, would I buy it? So I looked online and on the website, they have a box of 16 of these little candies for $20, making them about a dollar and a quarter each. Uh, if you buy them on the Chocorite website, uh, there's a flat rate of $6 shipping. Uh, I saw that you could get them on Amazon or somewhere else, so maybe they, you could find even cheaper shipping. Um, but I got that from Meyer. I didn't realize it, but I was in the health food section, you know, looking at the Atkins stuff, looking at the Slim Fast stuff, and this was right over in the diabetic section next to all the blood glucose monitors and other sugar-free treats, and I recognized it from the Keto Crate, and I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe they sell that in stores. I think at the store it was $1.50, and I had no problem scooping that right up. So yes, as of right now, I would buy that. Number three, what I incorporated as part of my meal prep. Now that says a lot because I'm essentially saying, is this something I would eat every single day? And taste wise, 100%, like yes. I would have that in place of an Atkins bar and I would feel great and satisfied and I would love it. 
I have a feeling that my thoughts are gonna change after I get my blood work, but as of right now, yes. This is something with the macros only having two net carbs, this is something that I could see myself making room for in my meal prep. So I'm going to let this settle, let it do what it's doing, and then I'm gonna come back in 60 minutes and test my blood, and then I'm gonna come back in two hours to see the final results, and then we'll talk more from there. Okay guys, it's been 60 minutes, so let's do the first test. Whoa, 112. So you know me, I personally don't like to see my blood glucose over 100, but seeing as it started out at 88, uh, let's do some maths and find out what the difference is. Yeah, so that's a 24 point jump after 60 minutes and when I did my last video, everyone told me that it actually reaches its peak around 120 minutes. So for it to already have gone up 24 points, that is a lot. But now, let's just wait for the two hour mark. Okay guys, we are at the two hour mark. So let's see what my blood sugar is. Whoa, it's come back down to 90. What, what do you measure your unit of blood sugar in? I'm just gonna say points. That's only two points higher than before. So that's dropped significantly 22 points since the one hour mark. So I'm gonna try it again. Okay, it says 99. So that's kind of a larger difference, um, but it's still dropped. I honestly was expecting it to increase some more, but I'm gonna go with 99. So that's a 13 point drop meaning that after two hours, my blood glucose only rose by 11. <sighs> okay, so with that all being said, would I buy this? Yes, I would spend my money. Definitely, I would pick it up in Meijer just so I wouldn't have to deal with the shipping and things like that. So I would buy this in store and I probably would order it online. Now, would I include it as part of my meal prep? So in thinking about it, this is something that I wouldn't include every day as part of my meal prep, I might buy maybe two or three and save them for a weekend. So this isn't something that I'm gonna have in place of an Atkins bar, uh, just because I really don't wanna get too used to having, you know, straight up candy candy as part of my everyday diet, which to be honest, comment below. Am I just full of crap here? Are Atkins bars really the same thing? And if I'm gonna have an Atkins bar, I might as well have this, like what's your opinion? Either way though, taste wise, this is delicious, like I love this and I'm gonna continue to eat them sparingly as part of my keto diet. Have you had this before? Have you had the Choco Right chocolate crispy caramel? Or have you had any of the other flavors? They have like peanut butter cup, they have just straight up chocolate bars. Have you tried Choco Right? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review. You can also find me on Instagram at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks and I'll see you next time.